Competition season is starting, which means practices are harder, longer, and more frequent, which is an adjustment. We went from World's Month, which is every single day, to summer, where we were only doing once a week practices. There's so much work that goes into, like, being on the World's team. Like, being on a World's team is like, you're together more often than you are, like, on a regular level team. We've been at the gym since one o'clock in the morning sometimes, working the same section just to get it perfect. It's an adjustment, not only on your body, but on your mental state. It's hard, but we're just gonna have to get used to it again. Today we're working on upgrades. We're turning our JV routine into the varsity routine. Let's see what they can handle and what I can push. Lucky for me, we don't compete till January, so it gives me a couple of months. Lift three and four and hit. A one, two, three and four, hit five. Three, four and hit. Three and four and hit. One and three and four and five, catch. Death trap. It's your shoulder. You're dropping your right shoulder. This is my first time on a world team, and it's very intimidating, especially since Reckless is just coming from a win. But I mean, I know I can do it because I've already, like, this is my life. Like, I've been doing it cheer for so long. I think Chloe is a flyer. She gets very in her head. She's kind of nervous her first time on a world team, but um, we're just trying our best to keep her calm and co cool and collective. We dip on one, lift, three and four, and hit, and hold. Down, um, it'll say jump in this dump, please. Chloe, come out of that. It'll say back. This would be her fourth year. She keeps coming back and she asked me, hey, if I want to come back, I want to study more and I want to be part of this program, would you allow me to? I said, yep, yeah. if you're here to go to school, then you're more than welcome to join my team. And so she's back. One, lift three and four and five, pull seven. Good, bring it down. <laughs> now that puts the fire under the flyers, but again, because now we have a veteran that's wanting to come back. Someone that understands level six, someone that has competed it, someone that I trust because she's been on my team for so long. And so her first practice is actually today. One, lift, three, pull, four, hit, five, and seven, dip. One, pull, three, four, and five, catch her, seven. Two, pull, three, four, five, seven, one, lift, three, and four, and five, pull, seven. Good, bring it down. Amanda, connect your lip. Dom, catch a grip. One, lift, three, and four, five, seven, and one. Chloe. Can you jump in that group, please? Amanda, come off the air. So I know Ilse's been coming back for a while, and it's definitely like intimidating, especially with my showcase bobble and how my practices have been going. I know that she's there watching me, and like I know that she's like way better and way more familiar with the atmosphere, but I feel like that I was put on this floor for a reason, and I'm just hoping that you know, I just stay on the floor. And one, three, four, five. Dom, your grips. I'm gonna poke my eyes out with chopsticks. Please catch your grip. Again. See where my problem is? See how I said the same thing three times and nobody listened? Right now I have to give the team to Coach David because I was about to lose my mind. I'm the type of coach that doesn't like to repeat myself more than once and I don't know how many times I can tell Dom to keep his grips right. How many times I have to tell Amanda to connect her lip and stop spinning in a hitch. And I was about to lose my mind and I didn't want to. So Kenzie, after showcase, we came back and she was planning on going home anyways for a week and then coming back, but unfortunately we ended up talking to her. I, got, I remember getting a Snapchat from her and she was still in North Carolina and I was like, Kenzie, when are you coming back? And she said, Cami, I'm not coming back. I miss her so much because like I was her back spot for a long time and like she was like, she was like my little sister. Kenzie and I were pretty close. We talked a lot during practices and joked around a lot together. It's kind of sad because she was a really amazing flyer and she had a really positive attitude. It's hard, it is hard. She is young being so far away from home, so I understand 
Um, so I know that she went home, but Chris is now in her spot, and that is some big shoes to fill because Kenzie does come from a big team and from a big name, so it's just some shoes she has to fill. Kenzie decided she wanted to leave, and then Eddie, the next practice, was like, we have an extra flyer, and I went in, and I was like, thanks. I was like, kind of nervous, but I'm ready for this. Like, I really wanted to fly, and like, it's definitely like an honor, because like, I know like how good Kenzie was, and like getting put in her position is nerve wracking, but also like very happy, just full of like happiness. Natalie and Carissa, did we not understand what a quarter ride is? Turn it to the side. Do it again. So Carissa is my flyer now because Kenzie um, left, and it's a big adjustment. Not only is it a different flyer, but it's a different type of flyer. You know, everyone flies their own way, and tall flyers fly a little bit different than short flyers. In the past five weeks, we've had probably four or five different stunt groups. We had Blake, Blake got injured. Then we started practicing with Joey for showcase, and then Michael got put in, and then we got used to Michael, and then Kenzie left, and now we have Carissa. It's really hard just adjusting to a new person every single week. Go from cradles at the end of double downs. Let's go. Oh, Carissa, we're not, stay inside. It's too far back. One more, let's go. Last practice like was my first time like actually getting in the routine and Cassidy said full out that day and I was like, oh, this is my first day that I have to stunt and in full out, so like gotta get it quick. We have competition in the next three weeks. You don't have the time to be falling all over the place and use the excuse of, oh, we have a new flyer. No one cares. Like it honestly doesn't matter to anyone. What matters is who's in the air and who's not in the air. We're just focused on timing and the stick in the sand, that's it. Okay, so just two things. Like, if we end up doing more, that's on you guys. Stick and stand, be accountable for your actions. Lift three, four, and five. Seven, and one, two, pull three, four, and five. Seven, and one. Three, hold, five. The, the reverse grip. Gotcha. Yeah, he catches everything backwards. Fucking over it. I am so over it. All right, one by one. My group has been struggling a little bit, and and it's honestly because I like I come from a different gym. Like the way we grip things is completely different from here. So you know, I'm just working my hardest. Seven and one. Grab three. We dip five over seven. Hold one. Catch three, four, and five, six, seven, and one, three. <laughs> sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't. Five, up, and three, and four, and five, six. Yeah. Joey, how much longer do you have on this team? Because I need to put him under that girl so we can see if that's going to work or not. It needs to be Becca and Joey under that group. Three boys are brand new boys, including Alex too, because Alex was with us for a little while and then he was cut for San Juan. And they're struggling, I'm not going to lie. And I've got Coach Joey, and then I've got Jason from Small Ed last year who just contacted me not too long ago that he wants to be here. Now, Joey, hop in. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Come on, yeah. My name is Joey Zielsdorf. I'm 24, and this will be my 10th year cheering. I cheered here at California All Stars um, for three years. I was on Cali Coed in 2011, and then Small Ed in 2012 and 2013, and then after college, I came back and started working for the gym. One, two, They're a better option for this team. So if those two boys do come through, that means that two of the boys that I have right now will come off this team. As we all know, we have Joey. All we're waiting is for his school to say yes or no, if he's gonna get in or not, and whether the time for school works or doesn't work. And then you all know that Jason from Samoa wants to come back too. He can be here right after Christmas break. So 
two amazing boys, both have level six tumbling, both can stunt, both can partner stunt. That means that two boy, two boys will take two spots. That means two of you are coming off of this of this team. Which one it is, I don't know. Just yet. I need stunting much more than I need tumbling. Bobby, I always stand up for you on social media because everybody wonders why you make this team. You make this team because you do your job. With that said, I had to water you down for showcase. There's no reason for that. I should not have to water you down when that's your sole job, okay? But remember that that's the reason why you stay on this team every single year. I should not have to ever water it down again. Got it? All three of you have been here the whole entire summer, but if you guys don't hold your weight up, then there's no reason for you to be here, okay? So I just want to be straight up and honest. We all understand we're all on the same page, yes? All right, come back to work. I did get replaced last year, the month of Worlds, so this year, coming around, like, I can't let that happen. At the end of the day, like, I know I have what it takes to try to be on a Worlds team. I've done it before, I was on Smoe, like, I made it that far through Reckless. Like, this year, I'm not letting it slip out of my hands. Today's practice, uh, we are gonna put our routine back together. It's been a few weeks since our showcase, and we have only been working sections, upgrades, uh, re-choreographing sections, things that were kind of choppy. I'm just a little bit nervous because we still need to do a lot of cleaning up and timing synchronization, and we still need to get our pyramid. It's the first day that we put it back together, and we actually throw our pullouts for the first time. So <laughs> I'm just gonna be patient and hope that we don't have some meltdowns. Stop. Shoot again. Stop. Uh, try it again. Callum didn't fall. Callum, what happened? Oh, I was talking about the showcase. Remember when you dropped? Oh, here we go. Ha uh -huh. I wasn't quite as prepared. I, like, he's made everything so much quicker and more like dense in the routine. It's a bit like. So you just got to find them breathing spots now. One more, let's go. Everybody hits, we get a drink. We can take two minutes and then throw this whole shebang three times through to full or you will have five by yourself while everybody holds a push up and you make everybody tired and then you'll get like a 30 second water break and then have to do three anyway. Miss fall touch, you have five by yourself. Everybody holds a push up in the back of the floor on the mirrors. It's gonna be great so I can see everybody. We're supposed to do sections so we can get music right now and we've been messing up on the sections so we keep having to redo them until the whole team can hit them. So instead of just doing one section, we end up having to do five mm -hmm. or six. We're honestly doing the smooth way right now where we take the harder way than the easier way. This isn't an excuse to like wimp out. Like we're going to false, we're only doing it twice. Push through your stunts, push through your grips, and you can do it. All of you know how to land those. You can do it. Also, the routine's not over until it's over. So. Sorry. Round three. One, two, three. Every hold the push up, Michael five. Anybody else miss or touch? Oh, and Riley, let's go. Uh-uh, by the mirrors back there so we can see you. Okay. You just did it the time before. Why don't you do the same thing? Originally, Blake was on the team all summer and he got injured, so I asked Michael to come back. We're now having issues with Michael throwing all his skills in the routine.
Michael, get up and do the last two that you ate. Let's go. Get a quick drink, take two minutes. Michael's only here temporarily, and that was our original agreement. I don't know if he wants to stay for the end of the season, but something's gotta give. We, we can't have a negative energy floating on the floor. It's just, it's not pushing us in the right direction right now. So we might have to find another boy, even though we have an extra. I don't know, I'm worried. Learning a new pyramid, like as a level six team, you have to be very cautious of what you're doing. Throwing people left and right, hoping they'll be caught. They're scary. They're really scary. What's up? I'm telling myself, today might be the day that I get a broken nose, but hey, new nose job, here I come.